Hi, David Mintz here from G4 Guitar School, Lake Forest, and in this video lesson we're going to be taking a look at how to play acoustically the introduction to Sweet Child of Mine by Guns N' Roses. Super cool intro, very, very cleverly constructed. Um, on the electric guitar it's played way up here on the 12th fret, and we will be looking at that, but for right now I think it's good to understand what, how Slash is playing this, how this is constructed, and what it means. This is a whole bunch of arpeggios, uh, and the arpeggios are based around a D chord, an E minor chord, and a G chord. Okay, so it's a very simple chord change for a terrific song with a really good riff. So uh, let's dig in and find out what's going on. So let's take a look at the first part of Sweet Child of Mine, which is played over a D chord, or actually a D suspended chord. It's part of the riff as well. Okay, so from a fingering point of view, what I'm doing is I'm taking my first finger here on the second fret third string my third finger here on the third fret second string, my second finger and my little finger are not playing just yet. Okay, um, So the strings I'm going to pick to start this with will be the fourth string, second string, third string. Picking pattern is important here. I'm going to be picking down, up, down. So it's four, two, three, down, up, down. I then lift my first finger away to make the third string open and pick the third string again with an up pick, an upstroke. Okay, so if we add that in, we end up with four, two, three, three, four. Take that slowly. Four, two, three, three. We then now come over and place a little finger here on the third fret second string, sorry, third fret first string, and we pick the strings one and two. Okay? And this is coming from my D suspended chord, so my fingers are here. Okay? And I'm picking my picking directions a down stroke followed by an up stroke. So we put that together. Again. And then my little finger comes away and my second finger then comes down to play the second fret on the first string here. And I pick strings one and two again. So I get this little line here. That's what's happening on, on, the, on strings one and two. So if I then put that together. That's the first part. So again, take this super slowly, really look at what's going on, understand the parts, make sure the picking pattern is as described, okay? Because as we speed this up, as described, because as we start to speed this up a little bit, you'll find your picking will become really important. So this is the first part of the, uh, the, the, the sequence, which is over the D chord, and then we're going to move on now and take a look at the E minor section as well. So now let's take a look at the second part, which is over an E minor chord, and the riff will sound like this. Okay, now the good news is, is that our picking hand, everything we've learned in the first part with D and the strings we're using is identical. Same strings, same picking pattern, same picking pattern. However, this hand here is doing a little bit more work. We start with our third finger on the third fret second string, and our first finger on the second fret fourth string th for the note of E. Okay, and we're going to pick strings four, two, but then we have to move up to, and we're going to pick three next, 
our first finger moves over to the second string, on, second fret on the third string. So we get. Okay, again slowly. And then from there, we take the finger away to get back to the open third string, which you'll recognize from the first part of our D riff. So we end up with. Finish this lick off the same way as the D riff, where we can put our little finger over here for the G note. So that ends exactly the same way. So we've got the same string numbers four, two, three, three. That's the first part. And the first finger is moving from the second fret, four string, to the second fret, third string. We then come over and pick strings with our little finger here. One, two, down the second fret with the second finger. One, two. So this again, everything's identical apart from the notes we're playing. Again. That's the E minor section. So when we put these two pieces together, we get this. Then we repeat. Into the E minor section. Repeat. take a look at the G section. So now let's look at the final part of this acoustic version and this is a little, just a little different because this is played over the G chord, the G section. So we're going to start the lick, uh, again my third finger is here on the third fret second string, but instead of picking the fourth string we're going to pick the third string open and we're going to pick three, two, okay, and then my first finger is going to come down and play on the second fret of the third string. So we get three, two, three. Okay, and again, my first finger is then coming back and playing the A note here, second fret, third string. So it's open. Again, open. And then I take my finger away from the third string and play the third string open again. So we get. Again. we finish it up with the lick we're now familiar with. Okay. So let's review the G, G section again. So we start with our third finger here on the third fret second string, playing the open G string to the second string, upstroke. Okay, first finger comes down from the note of A with a downstroke. We then take the finger away again and play the upstroke for the open third strings we get. Again, open third string, second string, A note, second fret, third string, open third string again. And my picking direction is down, up, down, up. And then we ended up with So now, piecing that all together, we have, starting from the D section. Repeat. E minor section. G section. That's it. 
So be prepared. This one takes a lot of time to piece together, but it's super cool. And if you understand what's happening down here in the open string, uh, when we learn this on the electric guitar, if you have one, we're going to come up here. You'll see how it all fits together, and it's a lot easier to understand what's going on. The good news is when we move, we move up to here, this area, our picking pattern stays exactly the same. So you'll always already, already have your picking hand dialed in to learn this riff on the electric guitar as well. So have fun. Any questions, please let me know. Thanks so much.